Kev defeat here at Ibrox, what's the overriding emotion after that? Uh, disappointed. I think uh, coming into the, the game 2-1 up, uh, into the, the second half, I think you need to ride the storm. In the first 15, and we didn't do that. Lost uh, poor, poor team goals, but uh, we're going to analyse it and dust ourselves down. Yeah, it was, a, it was a hectic game, it was a hectic first half, first 15 minutes. In fact, it was played at a frantic pace, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and I think we did it well. I think we picked up second balls well, we tied it up well. Um, we counter-attacked very well and created a few chances uh, and got ourselves 2-1 up going into half-time, but I think it's two soft goals. Uh, it's not individual, it's a team effort. A lot of mistakes in the goals and we're going to analyse it and uh, we'll take it from there. In terms of your own personal performance, I imagine it's a bittersweet moment, your first game back in 10 months, but you must be delighted to, to be back on the score sheet and back on the pitch. Yeah, of course. I think... Uh, First game back in a long time, and obviously to get a goal is great, but overly disappointed with the result. Livingston up next for big games against Celtic and, and Hearts. How do we make sure we get a reaction in those? I think it was a spread to performance. I think it's performance that's been better than recently. Uh, so it's something to build on, and uh, getting the Livingston game, well, I think we're full of confidence. Appreciate your time, Kev. Thank Thanks you. So much.